Moïse Katumbi, an opposition leader in the Democratic Republic of Congo, has officially launched his presidential campaign. He aims to fight corruption, create jobs, and revive the country's struggling economy. Katumbi criticizes President Felix Tshisekedi's handling of security issues in the volatile eastern region, accusing him of employing foreign mercenaries instead of prioritizing the welfare of the military and police. Reasons why he has promised to improve conditions for the soldiers and expel foreign forces. It should be recalled that, in this race for power, several opposition candidates have withdrawn from the race to support Katumbi. The former Prime Minister of the Democratic Republic of Congo between 2012 to 2016, Augustin Matata Ponyo, one of the opposition candidates in the presidential elections of December 20, announced his withdrawal on Sunday in favor of Moïse Katumbi. This announcement, made in a recording posted on his Facebook account, follows talks held in South Africa from November 13 to 17 between representatives of five opposition candidates, including Matata Ponyo and Katumbi, the former governor of the mining province of Katanga. During the consultations, delegates from four of them, according to the organizing NGOs, defined criteria to identify the ideal joint candidate that would give the opposition the best chance against outgoing President Felix Tshisekedi, who has been in power since January 2019 and is running for his second five-year term. Seth Kikuni and Frank Diongo are the latest opposition candidates to endorse Katumbi, the 58-year-old billionaire businessman and former governor of the Copper Ridge Katanga region.